ball meant that I was this time uh, the guy entrusted with the uh, clipboard and the running order and said go out and uh, entertain everyone while these guys uh, restart for the second half. Now, in order to uh, announce the results of that role, I got a phone call during the week from our chairman, Mike Dow. Mike is the guy that you've met here, along with Andy Salter, our chorus director. Now, I hadn't heard it from Mike for quite a while, so I said, yes, operator, I will accept the charges. <laughs> oh, you know Mike Dow, do you? Yeah. Well, and um, he said to me, John, you've won the raffle this week, and we want you to talk to the audience at Riley Smith Hall at the start of the second act. And I said, well, what do you want me to talk about? And he said, well, we want you to talk about 10 minutes, but knowing you, it will probably go on until something like quarter to nine when everybody will be bored and want to go home. So I said, well, I'll tell them about our association with the Riley Smith Hall, which goes back a couple of years. We moved from rehearsing at Tadcaster Grammar School to come here. And one of the reasons was that this is a wonderful hall, great acoustic singing and it's also very handy for the Tadcaster Social Club which is just over the road and uh, we go there at the end of every rehearsal on a Thursday and we have a right good session because we work up quite a verse when we're singing here for two and a half hours and they're very hospitable over there as you'll find if you want to join us for a drink later. Now some of the guys stay quite late, in fact it's a private club and you can stay as late as you like and several of them stay very late. And so much so that when they get home, and I know all the ladies, the wives who have husbands in the chorus, all faithfully wait up for their men folk with hot cocoa and in winter time a nice hot water bottle in the bed and a merry greeting. Hello darling, how did your night go? Well last night we had a right session. And one of the guys did get home and he arrived at nine o'clock this morning on the doorstep and one of the ladies who is here tonight, said to me, I saw him coming and I said, where do you think you've been? And he said, I don't really know, look. I've been out all night and, and I think one of the guys must have found me a bed somewhere. So she found his chorus contacts book and she ran every one of the fellas in Spirit of Harmony and said, did my Michael stay with you last night? And every one of them said, yes he did. <laughs> and that's the spirit of harmony. And that's why we enjoy it. And it's the enjoyment that's made us four times bronze medal winners in the last five years, as Mike was telling him. Somebody said to me, I'll tell you what, lad, you must have some bloody good singers in that chorus if he's the fellow that does your musical directing. <laughs> but Andy's really a sweet guy and we love him dearly. And he does a lot of really good work for hospitals. I have to tell you, it makes people sick. <laughs> but he is the one who has driven us on to the standards that we've achieved so far. We are bronze medal winners in the last three years. And I should tell you that there are 40 choruses go for the national championships every year. So third out of 40 is not bad. We work really hard at it. We go away to hotels and um, we all stay together. Uh, some of the fellas are not all that used to it, but some of the barracks homes are a bit strange when they go to posh hotels. In fact, this year we were in Harrogate, which is very posh, as you know, singing at the International Centre. And one of the barracks homes went up to reception at the hotel, and the receptionist said to him, Would you like a room with a bath or a shower? Now, barracks homes are notoriously skin pretty. And he said, What's the difference? And the receptionist said, Well, you stand up in the shower, but you sit down in the bath. <laughs> I saw him the next morning. I said, what was your room like? He said, oh, it was just like home. My bedroom needs decorating as well. <laughs> he said, if that ceiling could talk, it would say, paint me. And he said, it was so warm in the room that I had to cuddle the wife just to cool down a little bit. <laughs> and no, Pat, it wasn't your day. Although he did tell me a really, really good joke last night in the club, but I can't use it. Having said that, if any of you would like to hear a really, really rude joke about giblets and a turkey, Pat Pearson is sitting at the back there, and right at the end, you can't miss her, she's the lady who's suddenly gone very red, and put her hands over and ask her to tell you the giblet joke. It's very good.
but I couldn't possibly tell it in this song. Now Barry Tones, as I say, are a breed of farm. And I'd like to finish this little piece with, before the guys come back on again to sing for you, with what's called the Barry Tones Lament. So if any of you are Barry Tones, or are married to Barry Tones, or no Barry Tones, please appreciate what they go through. It's hard to be a baritone, singing in a choir, when tenors have the sparkly notes that audiences admire, basses boom like loud trombones, and leads sing melody, but barrys get the other notes, not wanted by these three. And when we all sing barbershop, seeking Andy's praises, the tenors have the lovely bits, in our harmonic phrases. Of course, the leads will sing the tune, they always come off best, while basses bellow down below and never seem to rest. The Barrys do try hard each week to satisfy the Salter until he shouts and glares at them. That's when they start to falter. Too soft! Come here! At flat, he says. You held that note too long. It doesn't matter what they do, it's certain to be wrong. So spare a thought for baritones. They're martyrs and they know that in the ranks of barbershop, they're rated pretty low. They are so very humble that it's easy to forget them. They'd like to sing another part, but vocal cords won't let them. And when the final pitch pipe blows, we're all taken higher, tenor, leads and basses will join the heavenly choir as they sing alleluias with celestial sharps and flats. You know that baritones will be there just polishing the hearts. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's got the chorus back on.